Hey everybody, I am doing my adrenal test. I get asked all the time. People say, oh, I think I've got adrenal fatigue. My adrenals, my adrenals this, I'm tired, I've got anxiety, I've got, can't sleep, I've got whatever crazy things are going on and the adrenals might be the problem, I don't know. And the best way to find out, obviously, is look at symptoms. Because sometimes the labs will look okay and the symptoms are you know, indicating otherwise. And the second thing is, is to do the test. Um, this is the test. I just got it in the mail. It was this morning. And this is a test from ZRT Labs. I got this test from canaryclub.org. Just go to canaryclub.org. And under the tests, you want to find the hormone test for the adrenals. It's the uh, times four with DHEA. It's like diurnal cortisol test times four with DHEA. And right now, I don't know how old the video is according to when you're watching it, but right now it's $140. Um, this test is imperative to know what your rhythm is because cortisol, don't mind me spinning as I'm like taking my own test. I'm doing my third collection of the day right now. Um, the, the cortisol levels are, are not flat and even all day long and they fluctuate throughout the day. And a lot of doctors will just pull like an 8 a.m. cortisol or they'll just do it one time in a day when you probably don't um, have you know, the, the big picture of what's really happening. So that time of the day could really be a problem. You know, it might be the only time of day that it's in rhythm or it could be the only time of day that it's out of rhythm. And so the way that cortisol looks is it's really the lowest point in the morning, in the late morning after you've woken up. And so, you know, and then as the day goes on, your cortisol raises and it peaks out like in the wee hours of the morning after midnight. And then it comes down and then it comes back up. You know, your cortisol rhythm should be like this, you know. And when I look at people's cortisol tests, <laughs> gotta take my next spit, because it takes a while to fill this tube. Um, when I get people's tests, we look for multiple things and sometimes people's rhythms are backwards. They're super high in the morning and they're really low at night. Um, sometimes people like spike in the middle of the day for no reason. Sometimes people are way low in cortisol, which is actually a bigger um, problem than having too high of cortisol. When people have really low cortisol, they're going into stage two, stage three um, adrenal fatigue. And um, you know, that's gotta be addressed pretty quick. So, you know, we want to have a pretty, you know, we want to be on the high end of the spectrum for what the lab shows in the morning and then in the evening, we, you know, as the day goes on, we go like this and then as the evening comes in, we go, you know, we start to go up. Um, we want to be at the highest end of the spectrum early in the morning and then when we, as the day goes on, you want to stay in really well within the middle of the range and that's how it should be. And, you know, people think, well, you know, is it my adrenals? Is it my thyroid? You know, is it my hormones? And usually it's all of it because it, the, the whole endocrine system is a negative feedback loop. And so if the adrenals are like over having a party off by themselves without you, the thyroid is definitely involved and that will again, you know, talk to the, the female sex hormones or male sex hormones and the blood sugar gets wonky and I mean, you know, sleep goes out the window. I mean, all these things are together. So when someone says, I have adrenal fatigue, my, always, my question is, is why? Adrenal fatigue is a symptom because your adrenals, those little glands on top of your kidneys, are your stress modulators. I look at them like your spark plugs. You know, they're kind of your body's bitch. I'm just gonna tell you, you're your, they're your endocrine system's bitch. And they do what, you know, they're like a soldier and they're just doing, they're just, you know, the pituitary is barking out commands and you know, your, your body's just like, okay, you're, you're, the, the adrenals are just trying to do the job. And they're not always in control. You know, they're, they're listening to many feedback mechanisms besides the pituitary, but you know, your blood sugar drops too low. Your adrenals are going to secrete cortisol, HGH, and, um, the third thing, um, oh my gosh, cortisol, 
HGH and there's something else. I totally had a brain fart. Um, adrenaline <laughs> to get your your blood sugar up. You know your adrenals are also secondary sex hormone producers. Um, they're not the primary. Your adrenals also help you with modulating the stress response. The adrenals are involved with the storage of vitamin C. Um, the adrenals help you um, with a peristaltic action of your digestive tract. I mean, you know, the adrenals are involved with uh, so many things, but they're 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 a result. They're not a cause. Your adrenals just don't flake out. You, there's so many things that cause adrenal issues. It could be some type of stress, physical, emotional, spiritual, environmental stress. So that's got to be addressed for the adrenals to come back into play. Um, the, it could be also an infection. I've had people who have gotten way, way derailed with their adrenal health just because they had a low-grade infection in their tooth. You know, so adrenals, it's, they're just there at the scene of the crime, you know, and the adrenals are trying really hard to keep you, you know, at homeostasis or above the wellness line, right? And when the body's just working too hard for too long, they run out of juice. And that's when we see fatigue set in, the adrenal fatigue, um, a, you know, low cortisol or a dysregulation in cortisol. But there's a cause. The adrenals are not the ones that go cuckoo because remember, they're your, your endocrine system's bitch. I mean, it's just the way it goes. And so we got to figure out the root cause. And that's what's got to get addressed in order for the adrenals to come back online. Because if you just start taking adrenal supplements, you know, herbs and vitamins and, you know, um, adrenal cortex or, you know, the full adrenal glandular or whatever it is that you're taking for your adrenals, they will never fully recover unless you handle the root issue. I'm just going to be really honest. You've got to get to the core. And most of you that have the adrenal problems know that there is a core issue. It's your digestion. It is your mismanagement of stress. It is you taking on the world and not putting yourself first. It's you eating like crap. It's you eating sugar. It is you having, you know, reproductive issues your whole life. And the number one thing is a it can be either a clinical or a subclinically um, hypothyroid is the number one cause of adrenal dis, you know, issues in my practice. You know, maybe you think it's something else, but from my training and what I've seen in practice, that's really the adrenals are trying to make up for a, a subclinical or a clinical hypothyroid or hyper, depending on what's happening. You know, like I said, the, the adrenals are just trying to like handle stuff and help you like not drown. So that's it. But to go back to the point of this whole video, this saliva test, you want to do adrenal saliva, canaryclub.org. Get the cortisol times four plus DHEAS, and that's the test you want. It is a spit test. You spit four times a day. I've already got three tubes that are done over here, right there. I know this is my spit. I just finished my tube, and my fourth one is later tonight. You send it in, they will email you the report. Now, when you get that report, I would suggest working with a healthcare. Oh, God, this is disgusting. Look at this. It's like, man, my spit is gross. Um, mm, I'm going to put that over there in the corner. <laughs> you guys, wait till you get yours. Um, work with a professional to help get your adrenals on track and help you get to the root cause of things because adrenal complexes are not all across the board for people. People with low cortisol have different needs than people with high cortisol. People that are, you know, thyroid, you know, um, dysfunction, low or high, need things addressed, you know. And so one, there's no one herb for it all. There's no one vitamin, no one mineral. Well, there kind of is. Vitamin C, <laughs> B5, <laughs> there's a couple others. But I'm just saying get with a professional to help you um, because those types of things need to be um, helped with somebody who can look at what's going on with you and guide you along. And then you retest. You know, you, you retest, you know, it depends on your practitioner, but they'll know when it'll be, you know, time to retest. I usually will check my adrenals. I haven't checked them in about six months, but, you know, that's just the last time I did it. The reason why I did is because I started gaining weight and cortisol, when it's elevated, um, will, will, you know, cause some issues with your insulin, then you can gain weight. And so I'm like, all right, let's see why. You know, I, I noticed that my thyroid function wasn't exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, there were some things going on, and I said, you know what, it's time to check the adrenals and see, you know, we're, we got everybody to play in the band together as a symphony versus, you know, <laughs> whatever's going on. So that's what I leave you with, canaryclub.org. Get the results. Get to a practitioner that can help you understand what's going on and put you on a program. All right, signing off, this is Jen Springer at Jen Springer.
Springer.com. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and like the video and share with others that might be having the same adrenal issue so they know where to get the test. All right, bye.